both of you stepped into. Wow, so the whole thing he uses is brute strength. Ooh. Destroy the altar. Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy RBG, aka the Red and Black Gamer. Here with my lovely wife, Jenny Lee, on the ones and twos, and this is We Ain't Seen the Reactions, the place where we react to everything we ain't never seen. And guys, we are already off to a rough, rocky start because I forgot to record my freaking audio for the last reaction, man. So if that audio was piss poor, blame Jenny. No, I don't, don't even blame Jenny. Well, blame the site because I couldn't get this freaking site to work. Blame it on me. I was and like in well. the midst of all this shit. I'm so beautiful. I distracted RBG from pressing the record button. Right, she did that. Always messing up stuff with her beauty uh, and her nice boobies. There you go. See, you just disrupted the whole time continuum of this reaction. Man, Doctor Strange is gonna be out to get me in a minute. Serious, Doctor Strange in the multiverse of cleavage. Uh, but uh, yeah, guys. The last time we left off, we basically saw. How did I forget that fast? Oh yeah, Vanessa. Yeah, we accidentally end up watching the things in reverse, but we can go in um, not reverse. Yeah. So yeah, we first. Yep. First, okay. So Vanessa was over there, y'all, <laughs> and uh, she had to go visit the Witch Kingdom or the Witch Forest, and try to figure out how we can become more powerful so we can beat the hell out of the spade kingdom That's right. okay and the queen was like hey take these two girls go protect the perimeter of the forest because these damn godzilla monsters y'all they keep coming over here playing games yeah so vanessa took the girls over there the godzilla monsters came out and the two girls just started screaming come to find out they felt like their magic was inferior one of them had sound magic she could make the wind bark and then the other one you know she had holographic magic so what Vanessa ended up doing, y'all, she found a great idea in her mind, you know, and she was like, let's all work together and accomplish our goals. So they all worked together, created this super mega ultra huge monster Godzilla thing that scared all the other ones away. Anyway, went back to the queen and the queen was like, see, that's all you had to do all along. And Vanessa was like, I don't need no uh, boost of magic. I need the power of friendship and teamwork. And that's what happened on the first episode, y'all. Okay, and in the second episode, you know, like my boy Julius sent, um, I always forget, is it Fuegolian? Fuegolian and Nozelle and, Nozelle and, and uh, um, the perm dude. Uh, mushroom Head. Yeah, Mushroom Head to go out there and help this village because the village is all broke down and shit like that. And they had no bandits money. bandits ravaging the land. Yeah, they had to do what they had to do, man. They had to play stick up kid on these people just to get some money to get by. And you know, it's because the kingdom wasn't really helping them out like that. They didn't send out them FEMA set them FEMA support checks and George shit. George doesn't care about black people. Exactly. And Kanye West was good back then. But yeah, that's basically what happened. But you know, they got things straightened out and here we are now about to jump into the next adventure. You know, the next little tale or chapter in the black was the, I don't know why you want to say the Black Clover. That sounds so much cooler than Black Bulls to me. But yeah, the the I Black mean, the show Bulls. Is called Black Clover. I know. I'm just saying. You but, got the Black Bulls and the Clover Kingdom. Yeah, but yeah, let's see the next epic adventure or training montage. Let's jump on in there, y'all. <laughs> Thank you all for your reports, Klaus, Mimosa, you know. Look at this. The residents of Keaton have expressed their thanks to us again. You obviously did quite well. I like how you're taking this mask off in front of them. Mm -hmm. Now, I realize you've only just returned, but I have another mission for you. Go ahead and tell us what it Apparently, is. Apparently, a herd of wild boars came down from the mountains, posing a threat to Saucy Village. Saucy? It's been a lot since we've been to Saucy. Dead, mm. but no one is available. A secret sauce. A few wild boars would be nothing for me. He gonna be He's the one, the first one to get boars. picked off. <laughs> According to the reports we got from Saucy Village, they're actually magical beasts covered Ain't in flames. Ain't this the one Asta had beat up? The village is I guess. Terrified. Yeah. I'd like you all Why not I got a cape on? I just realized that. Why not? Too much damage is done. Like a long cape. Will lead this I swear I'll outdo you. Yeah, what happened to them crazy motherfuckers that had the ice or whatever? Mm -hmm. I wish it was the black bull. Damn. <laughs> I want to see Oster again. You know it was. Sure do. Oster and Lily Magna protected our village from some really good guys. Even though old Paw Paw died, right. it, it was, was alright. Yeah, that's what uh -huh. it was. Mm -hmm. That was Eye of the Midnight Sun. Oh, yeah? Then why don't we make a game out of it? 
Let's see if we can take out even more. I'm sure the Golden Dawn no, will. David. He is ready for action. Mm -mm. Oh, he's gonna break right through that shit. Exactly. Turn into glass in the process. Oh. Oh, he was his glass. Yeah. Mm -mm. Oh, girl with the direction magic. That's right. Ah, oh, that's the dice magic dude. Yeah, you don't remember him? I remember him, but I didn't realize that was him. <laughs> they are fucking these things up. Well, they make some real good bacon to give me some nice heartburn. <laughs> Jesus. That did not look right. Not only did you stop them, but you figured out what was causing them to go berserk. That's smart. That they fixed, figured out what was causing it. Magic knights with this mm -hmm. issue again. I'm glad we could put you at ease. I bet you're really proud of yourself for proving me wrong. This nigga just evil evolved. anyway. Uh oh. oh. They're adorable, don't you think? Since the force have calmed down, the villagers are keeping a few as their pets. When you see us, Should I keep a few as lunch? Myself, okay? <laughs> Because if he's gonna become the wizard king, then I wanna be on a magic knight squad so he and I can work together. Okay, I'll make sure he knows. I feel like I, he didn't try to be like, no, kid, I'm gonna be the wizard king dude. King actually going to be me. <laughs> oh, shit. Really? I saw too soon. <laughs> Excellent he just had to again, throw it up in there. Now the mm -hmm. villagers won't have to live in fear. During the battle against the Eye of the Midnight Sun, he managed to command magic knights from all over the kingdom with no time to plan. I think he has what it takes to lead. Mm -mm. Though his impertinence can be irritating. Exactly. What's the matter, sir? So like they can't stand this nigga either. I don't mean that in a good way. I mean, you're not wrong, but you're not right, though. So Just fucking Mary Sue. What the hell is that Michael supposed to be? Well. A perfect character in every way. No. With no flaws. He do have a flaw. He's too short with people. He's too kind of just there, you know. He doesn't realize that, though. Most people don't realize the flaws they have, so... They do. Well... Superman know he weak against Kryptonite. Yeah, you got a point. Oh, I see we have some bandits on our hands. Oh my god, these are the same niggas that had to cover that other village one time, ain't it? I mean, they had that black leader. You can leave that to me. Go ahead and do something stupid. It's Alec Doris. Way to go. Mimosa. Show us the layout. Set. Looks like the treasure room is right here. There are two paths that lead to it. Mm. So we can either come in from the front or the top. Then we'll split off into two teams. I'm going in via the front entrance with Sheeran, Hammond, and Leechwald. That leads Every to time a character be like, we should split up. up. Somebody end up yeah. dead. Now this or is the made. golden dawn, man. They ain't gotta worry about nothing. You got you know the ultimate cheat code. Magic nice. Damn. So much for the lookouts. Swing magic. Crescent moon sickle. Sonic Boom! He deflected you know spell? Have some more! Uh-oh. He sounds like some Mario versus Sonic. Wow. These are some sophisticated techniques for a bunch of bandits. <laughs> oh, they got magical enhancements. Items. Using magic items to get a boost. Smart move. Wind creation magic. Wind Send these niggas to hell. You must have forgot. But even that will be enough to defeat us. We'll cut them off here. Take this. Stone creation magic. Pursuing course blood. Just imagine what them niggas will be like if they got magical items put on them. This dungeon's treasure is out. And they're Kodak snack. <laughs> Mm, we do got Kodak deck. Kodak deck. Kodak. Kodak deck. <laughs> I was gonna say his hair, but it's uh, never mind. I'm trying to get shit right back at the ass. How dare you use magic in front of me? Really? Uh oh! <laughs> Kill these niggas! <laughs> Magic items back. Say, why is it like he got bullets? Those are their rings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, what? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Excellent timing. Oh, 
Man, I tried to get here first so you'd owe me snacks. Damn. <laughs> Oh. oh, I'm about to call him an old pointy nose, but they all got pointy noses. I guess I shouldn't have expected too much from a group of low-rate bandits. Oh shit, that all kind of treasure up in that bag. Mm-mm. Boots? Well, compared to mine, all those trinkets Blow this nigga trash. away, please. He, he got a shitty haircut. Now his grandma jewelry and shit. Boy. Got on his mom's boots and his daddy gloves. Magic Not that you amateurs would know the difference. I'd watch my tongue. You have no chance of winning. You'd be wise to cooperate. Think so, because I have my doubts. Sand binding magic. Sand armored heavy guards. Sand. Well, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. uh oh, telepathy? It happens to be a perfect match for the oh, spells wow. that I use. Disintegration? Black Earth creation magic. Black erosion. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh God! Yeah. He he down. Pimp down. Yes, you're tougher than you look, but we'll see how you do now that I've knocked out one of your men. Gonna well, get fucked up by one of Ramona Flowers' seven evil exes. Not the strength to be a magic knight. He's also amplifying his power what? with a magic item. Ramona yes, Flowers. but he's just one. Oh, man. I forgot you didn't care for Scott Pilgrim. I thought it might have been Scott Pilgrim, but. Be aware of that fact. He's confident. I thought Scott Pilgrim was a self. Mm. And I don't like self. Whatever the enemy throws at us will respond with a delectable counter attack. Glass creation magic! Uh oh! That's cute. Your creation magic fears my romance! Come on, this can't be what passes for a magic knight squad these days. Nigga, okay. you got on a whole enhancement. He probably ain't even nothing without it. Seriously. There. That one was interesting at least. How's this for interesting? This nigga looking like Bully Maguire. The game was fantasy. My luck's finally turning around now. Unfortunately, I can't say the same for you. But well, he probably thought he was really gonna do something. He did. This is the greatest the hell? in the whole dungeon. What? No matter how powerful a spell you cast, I can use this magic item to suck it right up. Are you kidding me? Bell. I thought you'd never ask, you know. Legally. Swift white bow. Those uh -oh. look like sperm. <laughs> they do kind of look like sperm. That would work. That felt like a gentle breeze from over here. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's so annoying. So, what's your next move? You guys get the message by now, don't you? It's crystal clear. Between the necklace and the urn, you've already shown us every trick you've got up your sleeve. And now we can say for certain that you're no match for the Golden Dawn. Mm. I should have helped them fight those wild boars. At least that would have been more fun. If you're trying to provoke me, it's not going to work. Stupid brat. I don't know. You look pretty salty over there. There you go. You know, said our squad will never lose to a weakling. Yeah. Rely on they finna have to play lives. with his mind. You know what I'm saying? Play with his top. The proud name of the Golden Dawn. Let the scrumptious battle begin. <laughs> Alright, too much for you. That can hurt you. Looks on our side. Break it. <laughs> Why are you looking like that? He just can't miss out on the final attack. Find us a place with fainter mana. I will try my best to pinpoint some weak spots in the walls. Okay. What they got him sounding like an idiot? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Man can't have no bass in his voice. It's not the bass. It's the voice. It's, you know what I'm talking about. Nice. What was y'all niggas when we needed you to help us get the glove off of Thanos? They was on planet 929. Mm -hmm. Damn, look at you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let the rocks fall on them. Oh. 
don't forget. I still have this. Look at him just looking raggedy. Reach the end of the line. You fool. I already told you my type of magic has the advantage over yours. Please get this thing, please. You know. You know it. <laughs> oh my god. It's like his Alan name Nora. is self explanatory. You already know who it is. Ah! You got it. Mm -hmm. You can try, but you're still Alan Doty. You ain't got it. <laughs> but he is probably flame man. Thank you for leading this mission, Alan Dora. You should know, sir. At one point, I was unable to fight after sustaining an injury. Without my squad mates, there would have been no hope of success. See? I see. And what's your view? You now Longus look all Alandora nice and sweet. Mm. Perfectly. I mean, he deserved to have his helmet off. I said Longus. Oh. Longus over there looking all nice and sweet. Wanda well. still look crazy. You came to the Golden Dawn. Some of our squad were down him. on you for the time. They resented you and were jealous of your powers. And I was no exception. What could possibly possess you to stand up for a group of people like us? We're comrades. I don't need another reason. I'm not a fucking doofus. In the Maybe past, I was also guilty of thinking someone's low social status made them less worthy of respect. But after being rescued by a commoner with no magic or manners, I reconsidered my prejudices. Get <laughs> it the one of no manners. Don't dare compare me to him. You know, please. Apologies. What? Okay, but I'm not sure what you're sorry about. I wouldn't expect you to understand, but I'd be wrong to let it go unsaid. Even so, I still don't acknowledge he was one of us. What else was you gonna do? Not. Are you here to give a report? Yes. When we're finished, let's all go out to eat together. Me. This is Yuno's chance to bond with the squad. That sounds wonderful. Hey, come back. Yuno. Yuno. You're invited. In fact, we specifically invited you. Oh, I didn't. Hammond knows some great restaurants around the royal capital. Of course, Hammond knows some great yeah, restaurants. We thought it might be fun to hit the town with the whole I would say Golden Corral, but that's already copyrighted. You and me, we don't have any real relatives. <laughs> but we've got a lot of great friends. We can have Golden <laughs> Flora, I think so. The most like flowers. Are you coming with us here now? Hold on. Are you blushing? Of course not. All right. Like you are. I'm not. Oh, I want to see. I said no. Guys, that was episode 141, I think. That was a pretty we good... Think so. We don't even know what episode we on no more, y'all. Yeah, that was a pretty good episode, man. Johnny got what she wanted. She got a chance to see her boy that she claimed we don't ever get enough time I mean, with. we usually don't. We get... But we got a decent amount of time with him today. You know, it was good to see my boy, you know, check on him a little bit, see what he got going on. And he over there basically outshining Alec Dora. Alec Dora. Alec Dora. Alador. Alopecia. Alopecia. Uh, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? He was doing his thing. They had to go, like, stop some shit. Like everybody else got to do, you know what I'm saying? Stop these band of thieves that was taking all this stuff, vandalizing or whatever they was doing, man. And we got a chance to see, you know, kind of come out a little more. Be a little more welcoming, you know what I'm saying? Social, as opposed to just being all serious and about his business. Because I know he... He's more laser focused on becoming a wizard king. That's what I kind of like about the two dynamics between him and Asta. Asta, you know, she. What am I saying? She. Asta. He done. He done. He done. You know, he done transition. He did, He bit. has, man. He's transitioned to God status. But yeah, Asta, you know, he's more welcoming, and you know, he's a very. Yeah. You I know, want everyone to be happy and great. Yeah, he's an extrovert, you know, but you know, it's just like stone face all the time. Exactly. You know, just just taking care of business, knowing what you do. And so, I'm wondering if that's just because he was a crybaby when he was younger. He's just trying to be cool to make up for lost time. Right, because he was the the crybaby that always got his ass whooped or something. He just happened to have magic so people was like more fond of him. But honestly if you probably had to choose two of the kids to like more or two of the people, Asta's probably a more likable person. Yeah. You know it's just taller. Right, exactly. So, you know I wonder if we're going to see more of that explored up in the later episodes where 
you know, you know, he's a little self-conscious in a way and questioning his own self-worth, you know, because you got to become lonely at some point. You know, you can't just keep that up. I keep saying his name by accident, even though I'm saying, you know, yeah, that's why I can't stand his character. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but no. yeah, I'll get Evan a, a B plus. I will give that one. I'll get that one at A because it's just hilarious to see Alec Dora think he was really going to do something and fail every time. Yeah, we still got stupid idiots that don't want to be team players. It's all about their status. Their so. status and not the fact that they suck. Exactly. Okay. It's like, nigga, I am a walking plot device. I am literally the descendant of one of the most powerful elves. And not only that, but my damn uncle was the king. And he's a fucking statue. So, yeah. But anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead and jump into episode 142. So let's get it. <laughs> oh, okay. Some scissors. Hey, that nigga look clean, you know. <laughs> like some from Bobo, 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 Bobo. Bo. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, she has any another other. great meal. Thanks a lot, Dasu. Of course. It really is delicious. You're a wonderful cook. I'll give you that much. Damn. You got that right. Oh, dear. Yeah. What a shame we were sitting here talking so long that my soup seems to have gotten cold. Sorry, I'll go reheat it for you. There's no need to walk all the way to the kitchen. It'll be much easier to warm it up with your magic. Go on. Okay. She must not be that good with it. Your flame magic, mother, and I hope you won't mind lending me your spatial magic as well, dear. Oh, she can combine them or borrow magic from others. Ah, thank you. That's much better. That's cool. This that magic of yours really does come in handy. Nice. I wish I could borrow other people's magic to use for my own purposes. That's a valuable skill. <laughs> it certainly is. My, that's good. Ooh, I saw that coming. She sucks. I knew it. She fucking sucks. No, that's the damn eye of the midnight sun. Oh, I thought she applied too much heat or something and caused it. You just wanted to just say she wasn't nothing. That's kind of messed up. See that you, you just be bullying people like you just be you just bullying me. Look at you. Guess we know how this went. Come on, Dasu. Use his telepathy or something. Oh wow, well, that's over. What a sad episode. Already. Seriously. Yeah, that woman must have been like a therapist to her or something. And a Profound. doctor. Profound. Sadness. Profound. It's too early for the sun to be rising. Curse you, human. Wow. You're <laughs> <laughs> stupid earth. Look at that. It's the captain of the Golden Dawn's magic. Beautiful. That must mean the kingdom is safe, right? He won't put the kingdom in danger, right? Seriously. Well, we can just get a pass. I'm asking each one of you to make sure your squads are as strong as you can. We only have six months, but please do everything possible to. We can at least give my nigga a nice one. edge up or something. Right. To protect the residents of Hawk, Shit. As well as our own land. Does this arrangement work for you? How do you mean, sir? As we established, the Magic Knights need to train for the next six months in order to be successful in their battle against the Devil. Asta is still waiting to receive a sentence, but surely you can table that decision until after this is dealt with, yes? I suppose I don't object. Forgive me for saying so, Lord Donatio, but I can't believe that you'd approve of this! 
Look at how dank that rug was looking. Right. It's like a rug you'll see at your aunt's house. I was thinking, oh, grandma's house. My grandma had a rug very similar to that, actually. She likes some. It looks like a low res rug, rug from the old Grand Theft Auto games. It looks like they just got that up off Google and put it on there through Blender. I'm sorry, sir. We need to put these vicious criminals to death. He looked cockeyed. He to protect our people. The magic parliament is supposed to be silence. Bro, let it go. It's cold, bear. Right. I'll take my leave. Take it. Excuse me, sir. Are you Cowboy by chance? Yes, my name is Cowboy. I'm sorry, but do I know? That's how you're saying Cowboy. We haven't had the pleasure. We were hoping you could spare some time to talk. Uh, actually, I'm a little busy right now. I get jumped. I lost my family when the Eye of the Midnight Sun attacked our village. And not just them. Many lives were lost. Everything burned down. I'm sorry to hear that. There are countless others in our kingdom who suffered terribly. After well, he probably don't even care. He probably just care about the putting capital. some blame on somebody. You also know that you the same pain. You lost someone precious to you as well, didn't you? How do you know that? We're looking for revenge for all the victims. And we're going to need your help to achieve it. You want me to help? Well, oh, don't tell me they're going to be some do. idiots. <laughs> My intent, or ours rather, is to destroy the devil's servants with our own hands. Boy, why everybody gotta be so stupid? Are you serious? I'll need to hear your plans in a bit more detail. Boy, I hope they try something and they get they head blasted off their body. <laughs> Got a handsome my boy look right there. Right? Like a handsome devil, man. What can I say? They did that on purpose. They, they, they know what they was doing. I'm trying to figure if they just what drew that or they captured that shot. We'll be together again soon, Marie. Mm -mm. Uh, oh boy, I knew he wasn't gonna be too far behind. Will you need some help washing your back? And after that, you can help me wash my back as well. I'm gonna get you a scrubbing brush. Just imagine you in a tub and another grown ass man just appears behind you. Seriously. Talking about, can I wash your back? With a pale wiener. Right now. I'm not a cook, but I know I can at least make a sandwich. Girl, you dress up like a mammy. Uh oh. See, the common room is not like the Forsaken room. It's it's a dip. Oh shit. Marie Adley, daughter of a disgraced noble. Her brother is a former criminal. And she herself was possessed by a devil. She caused grave harm to many innocent people in the attack. We need to take care of. Oh my God, y'all are on some extreme shit. They just want somebody to blame, not realizing the people who were to blame have already been dealt with. Seriously. Looking like fucking Yoshi Mitsu clan. Uh oh! Oh, he did that on purpose. I know somebody yeah. threw a child at the dude. I was like, who threw the baby at him? <laughs> right. Get him. I choose you. Then you help. Remember the name. We are the devil banishers. <laughs> Step back. What a I'm generic name. Hey. Magic. Go hey. <sighs> of course they would show up when the sister's out of town. Orson? Snow magic! Ah! Come behind me? Come on, nigga. They ain't got no fucking magic. How you gonna get duped? Boy, by they done knocked his ass out of the back. Oh my bat. god. Boy, y'all ought to feel real ashamed kidnapping children. Should have thrown another one of the kids at him or something. You won't be escaping again, servant of the devil. How, how many brain cells do you gotta be missing to arrest a child who didn't do anything? <laughs> it's so weird how things are just turned like this. Damn. Cheeks. <laughs> Boy, when Ghost hears about this, he is going to lose his ever loving shit. <laughs> he done <gasps> took a bath. 
and everything. What's wrong? The fuck is that? I could have a sandwich. I an angel calling out to me just now. Oh, hearing things now? <laughs> I'm sure Marie must be just as anxious to see me again, too. Oh, she's real anxious now. What's that in your hand? Are you feeding the beast today? It's obviously <laughs> You want to fight, then quit being a jerk and ask me. I don't. Nice. Hey, Finral. Mm. Nap time is over. Let's go. Whatever. Wow. It's like none of you even know what the word seniority means. None of you know what the word please means. A bit's not enough. We'll be a while. Well, then guess I'm going to be catching it from Yami in a while. Here. Okay, here we go. 81, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, 82, who can't even remember what number he was on. Mm -hmm. Now then, let's do it. All according to plan. 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136. Oh. What? Is she alone? Hang on! Boy, if the Black Bulls was black, no. You ain't finna just collapse on my shit. <laughs> And I'm finna be like, okay, here I come. Mm -mm. Please take this. No, no, no. <laughs> Man, if they let these motherfuckers outpower them. I guess they have to catch them by surprise. I mean, they coming up with the most convenient excuses of why they keep getting duped and shit. Quite a skilled potion maker. Thank you. I had only counted on capturing the devil servant. Boy, somebody collapsed on my line. Well. I'll just go in the house and call you an ambulance. You stay right there. So Don't move. Look at those horns. She's clearly a devil. Indeed. What about y'all? They're a devil man. So. Literally. The logic of this group is not there. <laughs> How can he be that strong? Kept a conscious narrow. Let her go. Please help me, Austin. What do you people think you're doing? Get away from Austin, Nero, right now! Quick, feed him the sandwich. Nice. Can't move. Please help me. Oh, please. Man, y'all getting on my fucking nerves, bro. We're out of time. Let's go. Water creation. No will. Man, come on, Lit. Really? We have been. Oh my god. Sand magic. Sand screen. Now run. I gotta get on my nose, bro. I swear. Look at those sand up in your eyes and shit. There's something happening outside. Also, Nero! She's fast. Boom. I'm gonna say, I know you can do better than that, Noel. <laughs> oh, oh crap! There's no choice. Leave him. I agree. Please forgive me. Transparency magic. Share the same fate. Don't what you dare mean? leave without telling me who you are. We are the Devil Banishers. We will drive the devil to its demise. <laughs> We're the fucking idiots. We don't use our brain. I can't sense their mana. Nero. I need me a breastplate like that. <laughs> How could anybody do that to little children? Right? It's like, do they not realize they're causing more harm than good? Uh oh. They took Marie. You have to help her. Oh, hell no. Right? La Vista! I'm getting very irritated with how convenient it is for these low-level bandits or whatever kind of characters. Overpower the Black Knights and all these other people that have been in way bigger events yeah. and had to uh, deal with bigger circumstances, you know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't make any sense how easily they can just get knocked out or, you know what I'm saying? They like, just, just fall apprehended. for stuff so easily. It's like, come on now, y'all. 
Right. It's like these niggas have undergone demonic attacks and been able to withstand that shit. You know, they done fought a lot of different enemies and a lot of different things they didn't have to do. And it's just some little ragtag, little raggedy people. Like a fake ass Bulbasaur vine whip slaps the shit out of fucking what's her name's hand to throw off her attack and somebody throws sand in her face. They always got to say their attack before they do it. They be wasting time. Right. I'm like, come come on on, now. Just do it. Just how you let them get away now? Come on now. How? But, I mean, if, if they didn't let them get away, there wouldn't be a storyline eventually, you know. But I I did like that episode, actually. I feel like I want to give that episode an A+, because I really did like it. I'll give it an A. I feel like it was it did add some drama to it, even though they're saying, like, this is, it doesn't become, like, a part of the manga until, like, episode 150-something. Mm-hmm. I like that. And I just really want to see Ghost lose his damn mind, because I, I know he is. Oh yeah! Well, if anybody even look at Marie wrong, he be finna. Oh yeah, you know it's like I'm glad that it's kind of moved away from just one character like training, because I do want it to have some kind of like ramifications based on what happened in the aftermath of the Elf attack, and this one right here is one of the most major aftermath episodes. You know what I'm saying? Where we can see other characters getting affected and they want revenge from what happened and shit. And, you know, the capital is still blaming it on Asta, so he's going to be public enemy number one. You know, so that, that that's cool. So we're going to get a continuation of that, I guess, in episode 143. So, yeah, that was that was a pretty decent one. I just, I don't know, like, <laughs> some shit just be bothering me. I, y'all niggas ain't that sharp yet, you know what I'm saying? Y'all dealt with all these different other enemies that were, like, major threats to the planet and shit, which y'all can't. <laughs> see shit coming to my I don't know man it's like right how y'all gonna fight the damn spade demon getting duped like that exactly y'all got a long ways to go <laughs> but anyways guys that's gonna do it for us today man we've been reacting to this shit and having to deal with all this other stuff man like I am frustrated I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this audio cause I missed the recording on one of them but uh yeah let us know what you guys think in the comment section below uh Provide context on stuff that we miss, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, just do that. But this is your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer, here with my wife Jenna Lee on the ones and twos, and this is We Ain't Seen the Reactions. We'll catch you guys on the next reaction too, Black Clover. Peace.